Mark Daisy Show is brought to you over Broadband Box Office Network, produced at VK Media Studios, Pat Maruki, producer and director. We are archived on Facebook and iTunes and live every third Wednesday of the month. Oh, we're go we're we're going. We're going. Great. Just keeping up with the times. Welcome to our second podcast. So, whip out your pod and get ready for some casting. <laughs> go ahead. I'll wait. Really? Tonight, users of Yahoo, Yahoo Sirius, Benjamin Netanyahu, Benji, Richard Benjamin, Richard Burton, Timothy Dalton, Timothy B. Schmidt, Tim Conway, Conway Twitty, Tweety Bird, Big Bird, Larry Bird, The Birds, The Crows, Counting Crows, The Black Crows, Cheryl Crow, The Shirelles, Sherry Lewis. (laughs) <laughs> Jerry Lewis, Jerry Lee Lewis, Jerry Falwell, Jerry and the Pacemakers, Jerry Springer, it's, uh, Lewis, Lewis and Clark, uh, Mar- Martin and Lewis, Lew- Lew- Martin and Rossi, imported vermouth on the rocks. <laughs> and uh, just to be safe, David Duchovny could not be here <laughs> for the show today. So they got me. Huff Snooty, Notorious Doggy, Dr. Do Daddy, Little Biggie Buster, Hoochie Cool, Sweet Ryman, Marky D, Shakur. Dot com. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Couple of things I'm going to talk about, then I'll move on. Couple of things I'm going to talk about, then we'll move on. Couple of things I'm going to talk about, then we're going to move on. And every time I come uh, to a new segment, as my friend Don McClay suggested, we're, we're segmenting the show. Yeah. I'm going to say the word so, as in referencing to something that has already been talked about, even though it hasn't been. Have you noticed that? Like anybody who's been interviewed on a radio or TV who's under 30 starts out their response with so. Like, really? Okay. So, since it's new and happening and now, babe, I want to be part of it. So, here's the story of Cinderella. I can't get anything on free radio. I can't get anything on free radio. I can't get anything on free radio. Now, I know there's satellite, which is cool. And uh, Q107, yeah, that's good. It, it, it ain't bad. But where's the station that you know treats the 45 to 65 year old, you know, without playing like Sweet Home Alabama, Smoke on the Water, and still rock and roll to me? I mean, there's more. I love those songs. Those three songs are great. Woohoo! Love them. Gotta have them. But I mean, I I, I you know, I've had them like 50,000 times in a row. You know. And how about how about how about some deep cuts from REM? Squeeze. Early Tull. Early Tull. Savoy Brown. Whoa, Savoy Brown is reaching back there. Whoa, Savoy Brown. Yeah, Savoy Brown. The band, other than Up on Cripple Creek. If I hear that song one more time, I'm going to freaking kill myself. There's more songs that the band wrote than Up on Cripple Creek. How about Early Dylan? Richie Havens, Poco, Traffic. Deep cuts from Traffic. I'm starting to salivate. I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't know. There's more songs that Elvis Costello wrote than watching the detectives, okay? Find them. I know that you can. As, as if like I'm talking to the people who make the decisions at the radio. Say, so, hey, you guys who are listening to me now, who run all media. You, Howard. <laughs> get, get into the changing stuff thing that I'm suggesting here. Yeah. I'm going to start my own station. I'm going to have a mime radio show. Yeah, I got to have my <laughs> So, after Cinderella came back from the ball. <laughs> All right, here's another thing driving me nuts. Here's another thing driving me nuts. Those crawls, the logos, the graphics at the bottom of the TV screen. What? 
what a, an MSNBC is is the worst. They are the absolute worst. There's like at any given moment, there's like ten individual panels with like there's flowing stock and bond hedge reports at the bottom. There's like lots of guys with their sleeves rolled up and their ties kind of down in front of like that fake uh, IKEA keyboard. <laughs> it's not. It's not really. You, you know, you see when you go to Ikea and you watch, look at the, the fake keyboards, you pick them. You don't shop at Ikea? All right, fine. Anyway, you know, the show is like uh, FBI's most wanted guy. And they got a picture of the FBI's most wanted guy. But like underneath, they, they got FBI's most wanted guy. Fox exclusive. Uh, tonight, new season of American Dad. Sponsored by Ford. You can't even see the guy's face. This like... Hey, uh, George, uh, look, look at these uh, fantastic uh, tornadoes uh, in, in Texas. Can you look at that? Look at those graphics. And you're like, you can't even see. It, the, they're, ripping, they're ripping that church to pieces. Look at that graphics, Bob. And, and, you, and you're going like, I can't see. All you see is the steeple going. Whoosh, whoop. I can't see it. <laughs> I can't see. I don't know. All right. I'm watching Silence of the Lambs. Okay, it's like 95 years old. I know, fine. But it's like one of my favorite movies. Jonathan Demme, genius. Okay, so I'm watching Silence of the Lambs. Um, it's down in the basement, Buffalo Bill, okay, with the dark goggles. Um, and he's, you know, Agent Starling, and he's reaching out. And she's got the gun it's going like this. Yep. And like, like down in the corner of the freaking screen comes up this, like, this dancing lady who turns out to be one of the uh, Real Housewives of New Jersey episode tonight at 8. I don't, I don't care. I'm down, I'm down in the fucking basement with Jodie Foster. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm enjoying my show. Did I just OV the, the volume? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, they, they, I should get a sponsor. I should have sponsors. Yeah. Like, like that, I should get like myself a sponsor. I'd... Shouldn't I? Yeah, it would be uh, with the age group I'm going for. It'd probably be like a medical sponsor, like, you know, some kind of like pill or something. You know what gets me about those uh, those drug commercial uh, sponsors is uh, the uh, the little disclaimers that they have at the end. <laughs> it's, I believe that if, in fact, I, I had a uh, uh, sponsor, a medical sponsor, the uh, commercial might go something like this. Don't let swollen joints slow you down. Most doctors agree that age is something that's treatable. Now, there's something for those suffering from the effects of aging hips, back pain, and meningitis. Now, there's staminamitine. <laughs> yes, new stamina, because who wants old staminamitine? Because that, frankly, you know, if it's past the, uh, the due date, the age group, whatever. New staminamitine attacks the causes of aging joints by eliminating the need for movement. Yes, staminamitine. It isn't for everyone, so consult your doctor first. Now there's an excuse for getting older. Now there's staminamitine. Hi, honey. So, and now that crazy disclaimer, okay? And it used to be like, like really fast, like, like Stamina Amity was thing. If you call right now, we'll include the offer 9 by 12 pyrolog for free vacuum cleaner, blah, 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 and call before uh, mid, midnight, uh, May 24th, 1947. No, no, no. Now it's like a happy guy going, he's telling you all about like what's going to happen to you if you take this. <clears throat> Do not use Stamina if uh, you drink water. Have trouble hearing. Have trouble hearing or have large toes. May cause internal bleeding, heart palpitations, and erectile dysfunction. Snapinamitine should not be used if swelling occurs or your feet fall off. Contact your doctor immediately if you experience fainting. If you experience fainting, you may experience death. You may... Well, that doesn't mean... <clears throat> In fact, don't even think about taking this crap. The FDA says that there's room for three or four more side effects. I say, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Snaminamitine, it'll kill you. <laughs> I don't know. Just, just something like that. So, so, Prince Charles is looking for that really special lady. 
Really? So? What? Why does? What are people beginning their answers with? So, like I was saying, uh, based on something that you know I was previously saying about four years ago. Don says I should have some uh, musical interludes. So. But I think I love you, so what am I so afraid of? I'm afraid that I'm not sure of. A love there is no cure for. Boom, boom, I wonder what that is. But I think I love you, and if that's what life is made of, uh, oh, then it worries me to say I have never felt this way. Hey! There's harpsichord. Harpsichord, what a weird thing to put in a rock song. You know it would be untrue. Anyway, uh, we're going to go for a little uh, coffee break right now. And when we come back... Such a good thing. So I did. I called her up on the phone. Wow. I let it ring once. Went. Brrr. I let it ring twice. Went like. Brrr. Yeah. Let it ring three times, man. Brrr. I'm thinking maybe my baby ain't home, you know. I let it ring four times. And then I got this. Hello, 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 hello. I'm not home right now. But if you leave a short message after the tone, I'm gonna get right back to you. I wanna get right back to you. So I did. I waited for the tone, man. She said, uh, she said that. She said, wait for the tone. And she said again, she said, Wait for the tone, she said. Wait for the tone, and I did. I, I picked up that phone, mind me. I put it right up to my ear, and I, I said, "Baby, I'm gonna wait on your tone." She made me feel real good. Wow! Like she knows she should. My baby, she's coughing and she's so hot. 
And she made me feel good, man. I said, well, why not? So I said, uh, she said, ow! Wow! Oh, don't move. That's perfect. Woo-hoo-hoo! She said, would you please pass me the heavy cream right now? It burns my tongue. I said, oh, man. That's fine, fine thing. Maybe coffee, we stay up and talk about stuff about love and things. Hey! That's right. That's right. That's right. That's it. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> That's a good song, though. like that. Could go for some coffee. So... Cinderella left one of her glass slippers. <laughs> I don't know. Over there, over there, over here. I think we're over there. What is going on with the emergency broadcast system? What is going on with the emergency broadcast system? <laughs> you know, the Connell Rad, the uh, DEF CON one, it used to be like you'd, you'd have the test thing, would go. You'd have that Indian with the frozen thing and the, the, the time thing around it with those little numbers and everything like that. What, do you, where, and then now, a days, you get the emergency broadcast system. They don't even, you know, you can still watch the show. They, they cut out the audio, and around the bottom it says, the uh, broadcasters in your area have agreed to blah, 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 blah. And now this is the emergency broadcast system signal. <laughs> It's the end of the world. Well, I'm really scared now because there's a funny sound on my TV set. What? I mean, it's supposed to get somebody... First of all, I'm going to tune into CNN anyway. The world is ending. <laughs> Whose idea was that? I, I don't know. So... The Wicked Stepsisters, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right, test. Here's a test. Are you ready for a test? Great, because I've got one right here for you. I've been working on it all, all week, and I haven't even, like, I'll get it ready to you now. Okay. All right. How do you pronounce this name? Take your time. Take your time. Sound it out. Now, tell me it's pronounced Boehner. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> okay. What's with Band-Aids? What happened to Band-Aids? Okay, several years ago, I wrote many letters to them to tell them to take out that, you know, that red strip along the side, the red thread, okay, because you, 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 the blood is pouring out of you, you already washed your hands, and you're trying to get this little red thread that will now rip open the side, and, and inevitably, you wind up holding the red thread, and the thing is still closed, and you rip it open with your mouth, because it's the only way to do it. So now, they, they, they got rid of the red thread. Isn't that great? They got rid of the, because of me, and they... Put these little teeny tiny waxen tabs. If you were like a baby pygmy, you wouldn't have fingers that were small enough to get the damn thing open with the blood flowing and the, and, and this, the, your package is all wet because you're at the sink and the, the whole thing is, is spongy now. They used to come in metal containers. No, 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 no more. They're trying to save money. They got rid of the threads. They can't put, what, like an extra inch or something at the end of the band aids You can actually open it up and put it on the blood that's pouring out of your head or your arm or where, where? Hmm? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> if you tuned in late, let me tell you what you missed. Colonel Mustard in the parlor with a candlestick. I had the, you know, I had the uh, uh, Colonel Mustard part. The candlestick? I never... Eh. Uh, all right. Sock sizes. Sock sizes. I know we're covering a lot of information today. A lot of stuff. Uh, it will be on your final. Okay, sock sizes. Fit sizes 6 through 12. Really? <laughs> really? 
And yet, we continue to buy them. <laughs> Musical interlude, because Don McClay says we should have more. Chances are... Wait, wait, wait. Headphones, because Pat Maruki says we should <laughs> have them. Chances are... Since you were a cigarette, the moment I come into view, your chances are, your chances are, of leak. Your chances are, your chances are, of leak. <laughs> Okay, by the way, a portion of the proceeds from today's shows are going toward the, going toward the, what, what are, Don, what are they going towards? You don't, the what? There, there are no proceeds <laughs> from today's show. Oh, they're not, they're not going anywhere. Cinderella tries on the glass slipper. All right. Things that have outused, outlived, outlived their usefulness. Last week was one ply, as you remember. Do you remember? Do you remember? We're going over it. Do you, do you, do you recall? No. Okay. Well, it was one ply because I'm uh, really one ply. You're gonna really. It's like sock sizes. Come on, we still buy it. So why shouldn't they stop making it? Okay. But here, here's useful or unuseful phrases. Okay. They just don't. When somebody listen, listen. Like, why? Uh, yeah, like I'm standing here. I'm looking at you. You're saying words. I'm looking at you, implying the fact that most of the time I'm probably listening. Okay. To be perfectly honest. To be perfectly honest. Really? What is, so there's like a part of honesty that's like not perfect? <laughs> that has been imperfect up until now? Or how about to tell you the truth? Because up until now, I've been lying. <laughs> that you, we got to get rid of those phrases. Also, the part of the online uh, form when you're filling out, you know, the, this, this, is, this is me filling out a form. <laughs> Probably using the IKEA keyboard for all I know. Um, you know, where you're filling out a form online, okay? <clears throat> Name, Mark Dacey. Address, any town, USA. Education. Magna cum laude. Summa cum laude. And then you get to the state. And you get... You, you can't. You gotta grab the thing, you gotta move it down, you gotta... Duh, the state. I, 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 yeah, I don't have, like, the... I've just filled out my whole entire life history, but when it comes to the state, I don't know how to put UT. So I gotta go through... I'm going to hit the thing, go all the way down to New Jersey, New York, South Carolina, why, Utah, bing, and then I can do it. Why? Why do they have that? Why can't you just put down UT? What's, I don't, I have no idea. Duh, it's impossible to do. Oh, by the way, you know, you know, Pat? I wasn't, uh, I wasn't always a podcaster. Yes, in a former life, I actually sold tickets online, offline. We had a phone and everything. That's what the car's doors. Yeah, yeah, the car's in the doors. Yeah, the car's doors at Manny's car wash. Yeah, two, two tickets. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'll punch that right in. Okay. Yeah, you're all right. Okay, Bob, uh, Fred, yeah, we got that. Okay. All right, thanks very much. Yeah, yeah, I'll say, I'll say, yeah, you can give your name and number to the operator. All right, thanks very much. We got you. Okay. Ticketmeister, yeah. Hey, we got the best, and uh, we got we got a lot of them. Uh, what, yeah, what's that? Yeah, you want to go to the grand reopening of the uh, the thousandth Carvel store, huh? Oh yeah, sure. Well, I'll tell you who's gonna be there. Vanilla fudge cream. That's right. It's vanilla fudge and cream. Oh, uh, it's perfect for the Carvel people. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. What do you what do you want? Two, three, four, five, twelve. Good. All right. I'll punch in the operator. Leave your name and number. Thanks very much. Okay. Bye bye. Ticket Miser, Ticket Meister, I don't know what the hell it is. Yeah, what, what do you got? Oh, yeah, you want to go to the open air concert at Central Park, huh? For the Audubon Society, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's the birds and the beetles. Well, why not? Sure, absolutely. Well, we don't take much of a percentage, but whatever we can. That's, yeah, well, 
Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, leave your name and number with the up. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hi. How are you? Yeah. The concert to benefit the NRA. Right. Yeah. Who's starring in that? Well, that'll be the Grateful Dead flock of seagulls. Yeah. Sure. They're, well, what's well, the NRA, kid? What do you want? Okay. Absolutely. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Leave your name and number with the operator. Hey, key. Hey, what do you got there? Hey, hi. How are you? Yeah. Sure. Ticket miser. Sure. We got lots of misers and we got lots of tickets and we're going to take it for as much as we can. What's that? Yeah, sure. Uh, you want to go to the uh, the opening of the one millionth Taco Bell? Yeah, sponsored by Tums. That yeah, that's right. Who's gonna be there? Well, that's the Flying Bur Burrito Brothers and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, absolutely. So, well, that's why. Uh, would you be interested in our uh, our brand new Adult Triple uh, X feature? Yeah, that, that's with Pink Floyd, Steely Dan, and Led Zeppelin. <laughs> yeah, you use your imagination. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, sure. Well, yeah. Give your name and number to the operator. Thank you very much. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. FCC. Yeah, well, yeah, we, well, we did have some problems. Yeah, well, what happened? Uh, we we're dealing with a lot of these rock groups. Things come, things go. You know how it is. But hey, I'll tell you one thing: if Sarah Miles uh, married Ralph Nader, she'd be Sarah Nader. <laughs> did you ever think of that? No, I'm, I'm only kidding. No, but sure. Well, no. What, well, what happened is that the police found some bangles. Yeah, when they went into a full house. Yeah. So what? What they did is after the spin doctors left, they gave them some Milli Vanilli. Yeah, and their whole notes just went right away. I don't know what happened. But I'll tell you one thing, if Bo Derek married Danny Kay, she'd be Bo Kay. Did you ever think of that? <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Well, I know, I know it's the FCC, but let me tell you one thing, if uh, Heather Locklear married George Bush, she'd be Heather Bush, wouldn't she? But no, I'm only kidding. Well, would, would you like to go to one of our reunion to, uh, uh, concerts? We got a lot of them. Yeah. The, well, the, the Cars Doors, the Vanilla Fudge Cream. What's that? Oh, you want to go to the one sponsored by Clairol? Yeah. That's Split End and the Kinks. Sure. It's sponsored by Clairol. And I'll tell you one thing, if Ella Fitzgerald married Darth Vader, she'd be Ella Vader. Well, I know. Well, this, this business has its ups and downs. What, what do you mean, cable? No, that's what, of course it's cable. All right, well, listen, thanks very much for checking in with us, and we're sorry about that mix-up with the police and, uh, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, well, well, we'll be talking to you later. All right, thank you very much. Okay, Ticketmeister, Miser, whatever it is, I don't know, but we got a lot of it, and we got more of it than anybody else in the industry. How do we do it? How do we do it? Volume, volume, volume. Yeah, the Smiths reunion tour? Sure, that's with the Smiths. Right, and Aerosmith, and Patti Smith, and Patti Smythe, and Patti Hearst, and Patti LaBelle, and Patti Scalfa, and Patti Cake, Patti Cake, Baker's son, they, I don't know. Sure, well listen, leave your name and number with the operator. I need to take a break. Thanks very much. If I can only get a hold of some of these tickets, maybe some of these people won't be so ticked off. Yeah, sure. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'll hold. Edward Snowden? Accept charges? Uh, I better not. Yeah, no. All right. All right. Okay. Ed, Ed, where are you? What? You're hungry? Yeah, I shouldn't even be talking to you. Well, that whole thing with the NSA and, the, you know. Okay. All right. Really? Okay, okay, give it lo mein with broccoli. Okay, what, what's your room number? All right. Okay, listen, don't call me here again, okay? Okay, sayonara, baby. Flip phone. <laughs> well, Sir Edward Snowden, please report to the throne. Sir Edward Snowden, please report to the... Th Edward Snowden, grandiose narcissist or hero whistleblower?
Edward Snowden. <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to figure it out. If they catch him, Sir Edward Snowden is gonna be snowed in for the rest of his life. I mean, really. I mean, look, look at Bradley Manning. Forgot about it. You're never gonna see him again. In Vietnam, Charlie Company, which was about 100 guys, they, they came in and wiped out 500 villagers at My Lai. And they pinned one guy, William Lieutenant Kelly, a long time ago. But nobody was supposed to find out about it. It was a military secret. Nowadays, they go after the guys who tell you about My Lai. I'm just saying. I don't have an opinion. I do have this uh, chart, though. <laughs> If you may consider it that. Here's uh, 50% 50% 57 57 percent military budget. Uh, yeah. 57% of our budget goes to the military. 5.5 goes to veterans. And this is the breakdown of the rest of our, our budget like that. Like little pieces. 6 6%, 4 6%, 2%. Let's see. 2.5% goes to science. <laughs> I don't know. Seem to be uh, getting upset about nothing. But maybe. Maybe not. All I'm saying that... Anyway, after Snowden spilled the beans, or should I say uh, snow peas, huh, I'm paying cash. I'm off the grid. I'm under the radar. I'm under the cover of night. I'm in the cover of darkness. Incognito, baby, incommunicado. They're never going to find me on the web. Wait a minute. Like now? <laughs> all I'm saying is that all this stuff here is going into the cloud, into the great fullness of the electronic fluffiness, whispery cloud that actually is five buildings in Utah built by the NSA over the last couple of years. See, what, what happens is that the NSA came and sucked all the information out of the cloud and blew it back into the five buildings that are in Utah. <clears throat> Funny fact, um, I think you're like, uh, where it's located in, in, in Utah, it's, the town is called Bluffdale. Insert your own joke here. <laughs> I, I am just saying. So, Little Red Riding Hood married Prince Charming, and they lived happily ever after in the kingdom under the sea. So, <laughs> I, really, there are so many people starting out their responses with, so, it's like a fairy tale. All right, I got a song I wrote. Um, got a million of them. Most of the time when I had written them, though, the guitar had been tuned. I'm going to have to get like a, uh, a guitar uh, roadie to just like keep my guitars tuned while I uh, take all the credit. So anyway, anyway, this song is called Mama Never Told Me Nothing.
Mama never told me to Oh Dumbbell said alfalfa's dead Horse ran him over in the city A little dollar paid for the cemetery bed But we said it was a pity She didn't have time. She's busy. She's busy making casseroles and pot roasts and stuff. So I didn't. I didn't know. Couldn't tell. So <laughs> I think God should let us be an animal of our choice for like I don't know a couple of days every year. And we could earn it like a point system or something like that, you know. And that way, you know, he and what do you think? <laughs> that'd be, I think that'd be great if we were good. If we earned the points, then we could choose which animal that, that we wanted to be. I don't know. Maybe we're giving her too much credit. Maybe she isn't all that powerful. I just I don't know. Maybe she's not all that. What 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 if she's like, uh, hey, these people give me way too much credit. I mean, sure, I'm everywhere and everything, but as far as turning you into a bald eagle for the weekend, I'm not all that. Okay, which is uh, it's possible. Still, you know, all seeing, almighty, everywhere, all the time. You would think. Maybe she's getting uh, too old uh, to to do those tricks. You know, that's that could be. Maybe God is getting too old. She's just, you know, kind of tired of uh, proving stuff. All I can say is one thing: thank God I'm an atheist. I'm under I don't have to worry. We have to get away. Beep. This is another segment. I didn't do so. Ah, sorry, Don. Um, but this is another segment. The other camera? Other segment. Oh, so now you can tell. Sure. Feels that way, doesn't it? Oh, oh by the way, we're taping today's show. So you can see it archived anytime at, you know, at my Facebook. Uh, and we're on iTunes. Did I mention all that stuff in the beginning of the show? You bet I did. This is the Mark Dacey Show, in case you're wondering. You, you know, serving around, serving here, serving there, serving everywhere. But you've come upon the Mark Daisy Show, of which you've stopped, obviously, for a moment. Why? You'll have to ask yourself that question repeatedly. I often do. Anyway, um, we have to get away from unnecessarily elongated titles for stuff. I've decided. I've decided. It's my show. I've decided because I can't think of anything else to talk about. Like, for instance, this is what I mean. Your call is being transferred to an automated voice messaging system. <laughs> wow. Really? It must be like a science-like era. <laughs> it's time for science. How about, how about simply leave a message? What? That? You, that could, I, I saw a truck go by the other day. Um, it said, entrance systems Technologies. Really? How about we make doors? Hey, 
We got doors. You got door. You only gotta get in somewhere. You give us a call. We got doors. As easy. Huh? I put up a door for you. You put up a door for me. I put the hammer in there. We put the thing. We got the guy with the place and the thing. At the, uh, you gotta, what, do you, what do you want? Like a screen? We got screens. You can see through them. And this breeze comes in or glass for like other seasons. Or if you just want to see through without the breeze. We got doors. That would be entrance systems technology. Here's one. Programmed visual entertainment services. Programmed visual entertainment services. How about simply, I'm a dancer. I'm a dancer. Okay. Uh, (laughs) Here, here, here's another one. I just happen to have another one. Scientific remediation vacuum specialists. (laughs) Scientific remediation vacuum specialists. How about, we suck. That would, <laughs> that would be easier. Oh, gosh. Here's my, uh, okay. <laughs> God, I don't live in Connecticut. I'd have to move my whole company out, like, down to North Carolina or something. Um... What? Okay, you say something. You think you're so smart? What, do you can fill up 45 minutes? What? What happened? Yeah, you. Don't, no, thanks for watching. Anyway, so uh, the next show. Next show. You ready? Next month. Pussy Riot. Right. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. But I will wear a sock on my head if you promise to watch. Thanks to Don McClay for photos and for uh, inventing duct tape. Don, great idea. I never thought uses unbelievable. Could be one. Pat Maruki for directing. From the studios of VK Media on the East Coast, I'm Mark Dacey. Adios, my friends.